What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we're going to be rocking out with one of the coolest Gen 8 Pokemon from Pokemon Sword and Shield, Galarian Rapidash. You guys are a no deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, take two seconds out of your day, scroll down a little bit, and click that big red subscribe button to join the Genius community and help me grow as a content creator. But before we get started in team preview, want to go over one thing. Your boy is back streaming on Twitch. Genes25 on Twitch. Link down in the description below. Go hit that follow button. Go turn on notifications. We're going to be streaming two to three days every single week up until the re release of Splatoon 3 and uh, Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. Then we are going to be on our grind and streaming a bunch of content over there when those new games release. So if you guys want to catch extra content from me, you guys know the deal. Head down the link in the description below, Jeans25 on Twitch. But let's get started here with today's team preview, starting off with Galarian Rapidash in that top left corner. Such a cool Pokemon with that Psychic and Fairy typing. It's got the Pastel Veil as its ability, alongside with the Focus Sash as item. It's Rock and Hypnosis, put opponents to sleep, play rough for its lonesome stab move, and then it's got Heal Pulse and Ally Switch to help heal and protect ally Pokemon. Second Pokemon on squad is going to be Dialga, our first restricted mon with Pressure and the Soul Fest as an item, to make him a bit more bulkier up against special attackers. It's got Flash Cannon, it's got Roar Time, Earth Power, and Power Gem, which is a fairly normal move set for any Dialga. I probably would rather swap Power Gem for Trick Room, but it works well. It definitely works well having a Rock move on this team. Middle left is going to be Landers with Intimidate and the Lumberry, just a great item for this Pokemon. It's got Rock Slide, it's got EQ, it's got Fly, and we can set it up with Sword Dance. So if I get that chance, I'm going to set it up and we're going to Dynamax that Pokemon because Landers is already OP when Dynamax. So give it that plus two attack, it's going to be sweeping battles left and right. Fourth Pokemon is going to be Kyogre with a Drizzle for, you know, weather control and then the Wave Incense to boost water damage. We got Protect, we got Water Spout, we got Ice Beam, and we got Origin Pulse for its moveset. Bottom left hand corner is going to be our Support Whimscott with Prankster and the Eject Button to pair up with that Switcheroo as one of its moves so we can actually hand off the Eject Button and force an opponent to swap out. We got Tailwind for Speed Control, Energy Ball for Stab, and then we got Helping Hand to boost ally Pokemon's damage. Final Pokemon on the squad is going to be Rillaboom with the Grassy Surge, obviously, with Rose Incense as the item. And it's got Protect, Grass Guide, High Horsepower, and Fake Out for flinches. Guys, if you want to try this team for yourself, we got that rental code chilling at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Galarian Rapidash team. Let's get rolling here in battle number one, and we are pairing up with my boy Magikarp over here. Look at him, just chilling in the face cam, hanging out. Being a bro, you guys know the deal. If you guys do watch my streams, you guys know Magikarp makes appearances on my stream all the time. So definitely go check out the streams. Like I said, link down in the description below. But uh, we're going up against a Palkia and Zacian team. A little bit of Trick Roomish because he has the P2 and then Sableye. Then he has Incineroar and Urshfu as his final two Pokemon. How should I play this one? How should I go into it? I kind of forget what Rapidash's uh, ability does, so I kind of want to read up on it. It protects Pokemon and it's ally Pokemon from being poisoned. Okay, so it's not it's nothing special. That's better. That's more of like a singles single ability you know it's really good to be in the singles but uh you know how often do, do, do we get poison in doubles not not too often not too often but i could definitely get whimscott rocking out in turn one i could rob him here too what's your speed really what's your speed really 112 that ain't bad that ain't bad really i think i'm gonna go rob him as a nice little lead if i go rob him as lead i mean he does have intimidate which could do me dirty i think whimscott is solid all around i could also go in with like a pokemon like dialga who is special attacking and I'm kind of digging that. Do I do that? Yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to rock out with Dialga. And then I'm going to bring Kyogre. And I think Landers. Could lead Landers. But the only problem with Landers is going to be uh, the Intimidate. But I think we should be fine. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. I have that Dialga just in case he wants to go into the Trick Room. If not, Dialga can thrive pretty well under a... Uh, what is it even called? Under a Tailwind. So I can set up Tailwind. He has no Tailwind Pokemon. So that works really, really well for us. But hopefully we can get started here with a big fat win in battle number one. But before the match starts... You guys got to go in the comment section right now and answer question of the day. What Pokemon do you guys wish was stronger? Because Galarian Rapidash is one of those Pokemon. It's definitely really, really cool, but it lacks power. It definitely lacks power. He's going to end up going into these two. I could switch over this uh, P2, which I'm thinking of doing. I'm thinking of just switch over in this P2. He could Dynamax the Palkia right here. He could protect it. I wonder what he wants to go into. But yeah, I'm definitely going to switch over. Hand that thing in the button and try to get rid of it. Try to get rid of that Pokemon. Palkia and Dialga out here for battle number one. We love to see it. We love to see it. We'd love to see it, but yeah, let's uh, switch through here. Give it to P2, take off its Evo Light, and then I could just go for a War Time, or I could do it onto the other Pokemon. But I just feel like this is going to be our play. I feel like this is our play. Just get rid of the P2, right? Is he going to Dynamax Palkia, maybe even protect it? I'm curious. We do have a Soul Festival. I feel like we should be able to eat up whatever he has to offer. 
And after we switch a Ruby, could Tailwind and pop a War Time. Could be a play. Could be a play. Let's just see what Palkia does first and foremost. Because the P2's got to be popping and tricking, right? And even if it's not, I'd rather get rid of its Evo Light and make it less bulky. The switcher is not a bad player. It is not a bad player. And he's going to end up Dynamaxing the Palkia. The Palkia is going to get the Dynamax. Oh, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I wonder who's faster right now. The Alga or Palkia. I'm hoping the Alga is just so he can get off his uh, eject button. But like I said, I think my boy Dialga should be able to eat up whatever Palkia has to offer with this Assault Vest. Because Assault Vest definitely makes it a lot bulkier up against special attackers like Palkia. So that works well for us. We're going to end up going for the switcheroo. He's not protecting. He's just Dynamaxing and getting after it. We're going to say, hey, P2, have this item. The P2 takes that item. We take the Evo Light. He's going to end up going for an Eerie Impulse into me. You little biscuit. That's totally fine. Whatever. We're going to send him out of here. God dang it. Eerie Impulse. Yeah, that move is so strong. It is ridiculously strong. He's going to grab a special defense boost here as well and go after my Dialga, which again, we should be able to eat up. So that's rough that he went for an Eerie Impulse. I don't wish he went for a Trick Room. But at this point, do we just go into a War Time? Do we go for it? Into Palkia? He is Orbed. Definitely want to set up a Tailwind, but Flash Cannon is going to send this P2 out here. We're going to do a little bit of damage, not too much because, again, they're plus one on special defense, and we are minus two on special defense. So, that's a rough little turn for us. That's a rough little turn for us. The Palkia is ripping with this Dynamax. Uh, what can I do? I could take its Life Orb. I could definitely take its Life Orb, which I'm thinking of doing. I'm thinking of taking its Life Orb, or I can just, uh, you know, Tailwind take some Speed Control, which might be my best bet. Might be my best bet at this point. Take some speed control and then uh, Dynamax the Lando maybe next turn. Yeah, let's take some speed control and I guess a war time, dude. I know I'm going down here. I know I'm going down. Might as well use our, our heaviest hitting move. Maybe try to get a crit because if we get a crit on this, that could be some big damage on the Palkia. Yeah, if I had to guess, I think uh, Zassian's going to go after my uh, my Wimscott with Behemoth Blade to take him out and then... Not just gonna finish off my Diago, but then at that point we have speed, we self Dynamax, we can roll out pretty strong. Kind of like it. So we'll see how this one plays out here. So Tailwind's gonna come out here. Give me that speed. Give me that speed. War Time's gonna come out here next, which is gorgeous. Crit him. Not bad damage. Be more than, better, better than I thought it would do. That's not too bad. Behemoth Blade's gonna fly through here. We're gonna say bye bye to Wim Scott, and then Palkia is probably just going to quake again and get a special defense boost. I mean, who do we have in the back end? We have Kai Ogre, who is a special attacker, which is a little rough. But then on top of that, we do have, uh, we do have what's called. Oh, he's just going to drop attack and take me out that way. Okay, so that's better than him going into special defense boost. Okay, I'm cool with that. I am cool with that. I am cool with that. I could actually protect the Kyogre this turn. Going to Lando. But the problem here, the problem here is the Max guys are coming in hot. The problem is the Max guys are coming in hot. So I could double protect here and just waste out the Max. Might be your best bet. Because Zassian isn't plus on any uh on anything. And then we can waste out Dynamax turns, we kinda of just roll. I'm kinda of with it. I'm kinda of with it, because do we have two more turns left in Tailwind? Zassian might protect here. I would love for Zassian to protect. Let's see how many turns left in Tailwind. I think it's two. I believe it's two, which could do us good. Oh, it's three. Even better. Even better. <laughs> Even better. Uh I'm gonna Dynamax. I am gonna max guard here. I do not want to get hit by Max Geyser, and I'm just gonna protect. I do think Zassian is going to protect, and I really just want to waste out this last turn of Dynamax. Just so we can get after his Palkia and do a lot more damage. So I can obviously max Quake straight into that Zassian and get that special defense boost. And then try to get ripping onto the Palkia. But the problem would be like a Hydro Pump coming in onto me. It's just tough. It's just tough moves. We'll see. It. We'll see what he wants to do here. We shall see. So we're going to Dynamax. We are guarding. We're trying to make a comeback here in battle number uh battle number one but i don't feel like we're sitting in like a deep hole i mean he's got he's got the upper hand with two ko's on us but again we have speed right here we're gonna start getting some stat boost we're gonna start taking control of this battle and we're gonna hope to just uh, start pulling through here because his p2 in the back does not have an evo light p2 in the back does not have an evo light let's see what he does let's see what he does we're gonna guard and we're gonna protect and hopefully zassian protects i mean it really don't matter because zassian can't hit anybody let's see what he does He's gonna end up protecting. He is gonna end up protecting. And I think the guy's just gonna come across, right? This is not a bad turn for us. Not a bad turn for us. Oh, he's gonna lightning in the Kyogre. It's actually a smart turn from him. But still, my, my boy Kyogre is able to eat. He's gonna set Electric Train. And I think from here. I think from here we just straight up Water Spout. I think Water Spout should be able to take out that uh, Zacian. 
and then we double down into the uh, Palkia here. Because Palkia, I really cannot take a Hydro Pump, right? Hydro Pump can do me so dirty, so I think it's going to be reply. Let me check out Kyogre's stats real quick. He got the Wave Incense to boost his damage. The special attacks boost it. Yeah, this should be bye-bye. I mean, he did... Oh, did we still go into a Water Spout here? We still go into a Water Spout? Are we going to Origin Pulse? I think Origin Pulse might be a bit better in this situation. I'm going to go Origin Pulse. Hopefully, we can still take out that, uh, that Zacian. I wonder what Zacian is doing. He might just swap the Zacian and save him for the back end, which would be a smart play. But at the, at that point, I would just airstream it my next turn. It takes speed. But I really want the special defense boost. I probably should have went for speed at this point. Quake's going to fly through here. Do some damage on the pack. It might even take him out, right? It does. Straight up takes him out. And we're going to hope that the Origin Pulse can do some work here. We get a crit. That's lovely. That is lovely. That is lovely. Special defense boost coming in hot. Can you do him dirty, Kyogre? I can't believe we went for a lightning into my slot. Doom dirty Kyogre. We land the origin poles. Can we KO? Can we KO? Please KO. Kyogre, you're so good. You're so good. Ogre. Ogre. Ogre! That hurts the soul right there. That one hurts the soul. That one hurts the soul. Can you eat this up? Probably not, right? Probably not. Oh, we do. I love you, Lando. Okay, so that's not a bad turn. I don't mind that turn one bit. It's not a bad turn at all. I might just go into a water spout this turn because we do have speed. And on top of that, I mean, he's going to try to waste out his last. Uh, he's going to protect his Asian, obviously. He'll waste out the last Tanwin turn, but we're going to airstream on top of that. Just get speed boost. Kind of go from there. But I think water spout's going to be our play because it is 100% accuracy over origin pulls. But I'm curious to what if, what would have did more damage at water spout with this HP. Or anything else. And he's going to go into Urshfield. And I do not mind Urshfield because, again, I can airstream straight into this. Take speed control. This thing might be Rocket Sucker Punch, which could be tough. But I'm just going to go for the Water Spout. Let's do it. Let's do it. Sucker Punch got to come in here, right? Can you eat up a Sucker Punch, Lando? I feel like you can. If he just ate up that Behemoth Blade like it was nothing, should be able to eat up this Sucker Punch. Which could be enormous for us. But I could definitely see like a Double Protect coming out here. I could definitely see a Double Protect rolling out here. So let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. Because like I said... Sitting in not a bad spot here. Especially if he doesn't protect at all. We have speed right now. And even if he does protect, we're going to take speed next turn. Actually, I don't know if a plus one Kyogre could be faster than uh, Zacian. Let's see. He does end up protecting. I was going to go into him with that. But I want to get off damage here. We're going to go for the Airstream. And he's not going to Sucker Punch, so this is going to be gorgeous. We're going to say bye-bye to Urshfoot, even though it's Sash. That is big-time plays. And Lando should be fastest on the field at this point. We know he has P2 in the back. I like I like the spot. I like the spot we're sitting at. Water spots can come out here. 100% accuracy. So we're gonna say bye bye to Urshfu, and he's gonna have to bring out P2, right? Or did we kill the P2? No, I don't. I think he swapped the P2, right? I'm trying to remember. Yeah, he definitely swapped the P2 because he Dynamaxed the Palkia. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Tailwind's gone, but again, we took some speed. So Lando should be fastest on the field. Lando should be fastest on the field. He sends out P2. And I think at this point, we just uh, target down this Zacian with the Lando. And then we roll off from there. He's going to trace my Drizzle. And I think we still have rain for a couple more turns. So not bad. Like I said, he took out two of our Pokemon early, but we were going to we were gonna make a nice little comeback here with the Lando. But let me check speeds real quick. Let me check speeds. Kyogre is at 150 and 151. Both of them should be faster. Both of these guys should be faster than Little Zass. I'm going to be upset if it's not, but at this point, I'm just going to go into a... EQ. I think I'm just going to rock slide. No, I'm going to EQ. I'm going to EQ in Origin Pulse. The EQ should not be able to take out my uh, my Kyogre. Let's see what he does. He's going to end up landing. He lands a double protect. That's upsetting. That's real upsetting. That's real upsetting because I just did damage on my Kyogre. He lands a double protect. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. We know P2 doesn't have Evo Light, but still, dude. That hurts soul there. Origin Pulse comes through here. Blocked by Zacian. Please land on the P2. Cool. It lands on the P2. How much damage are we doing? Let's even have the Evo lane. It's so bulking out like crazy. Get him out of here. Beautiful. That's solid. So that should be GG's. That should be GG's. Now I can just Ice Beam and I could Rock Slide into it. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Or I can fly. I might just fly. Should I fly? No. I'm just going to EQ. So I just need one of these moves to land. I just need one of these moves to land. So we're going to do that. 
Ice Beam should be able to take out. Actually, Water Spout should be able to take out too in the rain. I'm just gonna do that. Let's rip into it. Battle was canceled. There it is, guys. The comeback of battle number one for our first victory. What a great battle to get this video started. Like I said, in that battle, we were down the dumps a little bit. He took out two of our Pokemon, but I just felt like we were in a good spot. We got the Kyogre, Landers out there, Dynamax, took Speed Control, all that good stuff, and just rolled out that battle and grabbed ourselves a W. But we're hopping into our second. Let's go back to back, going up against a Butterfree team. I love Butterfree. I used to use Butterfree on the rank ladder to push high ranks, and it used to be incredible. It really used to be super, super strong before uh, Restricted Mons came in. But uh, now we have Restricted Mons. But this guy is Dacian. He has Kyogre. He has Charizard, Wimscott. Now, I if I had to guess, Wimscott has Sunny Day due to it having Charizard on the team, but you never know. You never know. And then last but not least, he's rock, he's rocking Lightning Rod with the Raichu, but we have no Lightning moves on our team. So uh, how should I play this one? We could go Rapidash. Give Rapidash a little bit of love in battle number one. I kind of like it. Let's go Rappy. Let's go Rapidash. Um, roll out with uh, Wimscott. Or we can go in with Robin. Robin's not too bad here either. Really, really. Or if he goes Charizard Wimscott, I just don't like that. I don't want to go Wimscott just for that instance. Wimscott. Hmm. Wimscott, Rapidash, Dialga, and Kyogre. Kind of dig that. Kind of dig that. Even though Lando's really nice. Instead of you, let's go. Uh, we have three seconds to pick. Let's go Lando and Kyogre. Let's go Lando, Kyogre, and rock out here in battle number one. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. If he goes Charizard as a lead, I'm just going to switch a route, give it the eject button, swap it out. There's a chance he's going to Dynamax and drop like a. Uh, what is it? G Max Wildfire. And kind of go from there. But we shall see. This battle, this battle does look tough. He has really good Pokemon. He honestly has really good Pokemon. Look at my boy Magikarp, dude. My boy Magikarp's just palling around here. Hanging out with the squad. And he's gonna go in with these two. Um. Oh, alright. I see you. Okay. Um. What do I do here? I take the Butterfree Sash. Butterfree has to have focus sash, right? Butterfree has half that. He's gotta have focus sash. I mean, I can set up Tailwind, which could be good. You no, know, let's go hypnosis. And Tailwind. It's gonna be our play all day. That's gonna be our play all day. We're gonna get some Galarian Rapidash loving out here. That scene does work. That scene does work, so I'm hoping I can swap them. Get out of different Pokemon next turn. Hmm, this is gonna be tough. It's gonna be real tough. Yeah, if I could swap this Rapidash, or if I can get a Jack button, that could be nice. If I get a Jack button and put that thing to sleep, oh my god. We can eject right into Kyogre. Water spouts up in the air. That'd be a beautiful turn. But Tailwind's gonna poke out here. Yo, Rapidash. You don't get that much loving. You gotta land his hypnosis. I love you. I love you. You're the best around. You're the best around. Get it, Rapidash. So he puts Ashley to sleep. That's huge. What's Butterfree going? Butterfree gonna try to put me to sleep? Probably. If I had to guess. Palm Pop. Hit my hit my uh Yes. Yes! That worked perfectly. That worked. No, nope, it couldn't have worked better. It couldn't have worked better. We got Tailwind set up. We put Zassy to sleep. We got Kyogre out here now. Set in the rain, we're water spouting galore. We're water spouting galore. He might have to swap somebody into his own Kyogre, but I'm really cool with this. We have a full HP Rapidash. I'm digging it. I might double down to Butterfree slot because it could be Focus Sash. It could be Sashed. It could be Sashed. So I'm just going to play rough into this little Butterfree, and then Water Spouts are going to get cooking. It's going to get cooking. Dude, that's a great, that's a great turn. That was eight. That was money turn. I don't, think, I don't think that first turn could have been better. He withdraws Sassy and probably gives him a Kyogre of his own, right? Yeah. I mean, I'm cool with that. I'm definitely cool with that. Is Butterfree going to protect? Butterfree does not protect. We do that, and that's some big damage. Launch Spout comes out here next. I legit want to double down there because he's probably Sash. That's huge. We still have Tailwind. Now we just double down to Kyogre. Then he still has Zassy in sleep later. We have Landorus to pop in later with Intimidate. Dynamax him. I really like where we're sitting. I adore where we're sitting. So he's gonna have to throw out his final Pokemon, or he's gonna go back into uh, Zacian, which I do not think he's gonna do. He's gonna throw out his final Pokemon, which is it's gonna be Whimsy. So Whimsy's probably gonna pop a Tailwind. Uh, I'm kind of cool with that. I think at this point I just played rough and I went to a Water Spell, or I could just Ice Beam. Maybe that Butterfree was not Sash, but uh, we're just gonna do this. We're just gonna do this. But I still have Whimscott in the back, and I can Tailwind when this Tailwind ends. I adore it. I adore it. I said, dude, that first turn was so good. I started, like, thinking of it in my mind. I was just like, it would be perfect if we could put this Zassian to sleep and the Butterfree does not go for Sleep Powder and hits my Wimscott. And that's exactly what happened. And it couldn't have worked better because now we have a, uh... Now we have a what's called in the back end. Slumped. A Zassian in the back end slumped. It has a chance of waking up next turn, but hopefully it doesn't because, you know, he only he was only asleep for one turn. 
He ends up Dynamaxing his Kai Ogre. It's like a last ditch effort here. And we're going to hit it with a nice little play rough. And my boy Rapidash over here, or my girl Rapidash, hits rather hard. It hits rather hard. And it's still a Sash. It's, it still has Sash. So if I had to guess, we are going to get off uh, maybe another two turns with both these Pokemon. Because these Pokemon are rather faster. He's going to Cotton Spore. Never mind. He's going to slow us down. The Cotton Spore. But we're still Tailwind. So he slows us down. He just falls harshly. That, that moves ridiculously strong. What else can come out? Did we miss that? Bruh, how, how are we going to miss that? How are you going to make me do that? How are you going to make me miss that? So, it is good to know that our boy is still faster on the field. A Rapidash, but Sash is going to poke out here. That's tough that we just missed that play rough. I feel like play rough misses all the time for how high its accuracy is. Misses a lot more than it should. Ice Beam comes out here, chips up some mean damage, and, uh... At this point, uh... This is how I switch. Protect the Kyogre a little bit. But I think the Max Lightning is going to fly through here, right? We go for a play rough. We'll go for a play rough, and I'm just going to Ice Beam. That is going to be my play. That is indeed going to be my play. Let's so go for here. He's, now he finally goes for a Tailwind. That's a smart Tailwind. So I can still get off my play rough. Actually, no, I can't. What's he going to go for? Lightning? He's going to go for the Hailstorm into Kyogre, probably. Just so Buffett's can take him out, and I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I am definitely cool with that. The Buffets are going to take out my Rapidash, but we are going to be able to get off a player off here and take out the Loose Cloud on top of that. The player comes out here. Look at that. That's solid damage. That's solid damage. Ice Beam flies through here. And I'm trying to think what we should do, because he has a Tailwind set up. Uh, hmm. How many chairs left in our Tailwind? He did take out weather, which is benefits us a little bit. But is our tailwind gone? Therefore, our tailwind's not gone. I think my uh, I said we just set up a tailwind of our own here, right? And waste out the last turn Dynamax, then bring Landers in the back end. Or do I just bring out Landers and guard the shot? What do I do here? I'm just going to go into here. I'm going to go into here. He's going to have to go into his Zacian. This is a little tough, but I can start wasting out their Tailwind turns. But I'm going to set up a Tailwind of my own, just for my landers in the back end, because I feel like that could definitely clutch up for us. That could definitely be big, big news for us. So we do this. We are going to set up that Tailwind. And then I could just go for a Water Spout. But Origin Pulse is going to be our better, our better option here. Just chip up some damage on his ass. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Like I said, we still have Dynamax. And that Miss Player Off really did us dirty. Not, not even so the, uh, not even more so the, uh, Player Off. More so the, uh, what is it? That Cotton Spore was a great play by our opponent. Dropping the Cotton Spore, man? Cotton Spore really threw us off. Really threw us off there. Hmm. Yeah, we're hoping Zaskin can be asleep this one more turn. Three turns would be beautiful, but one more turn is, uh, what we're hoping for. Because one turn sleep is a little whack. It's no fun when, uh, it's a one turn sleep. Let's see how this one plays out. We're going to pop a little Tailwind. We're going to take speed when his Tailwind ends, which is going to be huge for us. And Zassian is still sleeping. That's huge. That's exactly what we want. I wonder what he's going for. He's going to go for a Hailstorm. He's going to take out Wimscott. So he takes out Wimscott. His Dynamax turns are over. That's that's fine. I, that's all I wanted. That's all I wanted Wimscott in there for. Was to set up Tailwind and to waste out that uh, last turn of Dynamax. Because that goes straight into uh, Lando here. Where's your pulse going to fly? Who dodged it? Kyogre dodged it. And Zassian, what you mean? The double dodge? Get out of here. Get out of here. Now, how many turns left in his Tailwind? Oh, Carp. I just hit my Magic card. How many turns is left in his Tailwind? If it's one, I can double protect. If not, I might just go straight into this Max Quake. I might go straight into this Max Quake. Let's see. Show me one more turn left. I'll double protect, just like we did in the last battle. Just like in the last battle. You really got that double dodge. That's why I hate Origin Pulse, man. I Like, dude, it's such a strong move, but it misses so much. Which, which is fair, because it, like that's why it's so strong. But uh, we have three turns left in Tailwind. They have two. So I think we got to go for it now. I think we got to get after it right here, right now. I don't think there's no time to waste. We go after Zassian. Zassian might protect. Or I go after Kyogre. Hmm. Plays the plays the plays. Zassian might protect here. I mean, if Zassian protects, that's fine. I don't see Kyogre being able to take out my landers. And then we can double protect and take speed away. 
That ain't too bad. That ain't too bad. This is, going, dude, this is coming down to wire. We're having some great battles on the rank ladder today. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying. You guys know the deal. Leave a like on today's video if you are enjoying it. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, how did you watch this video this far not, and are not subscribed? That just blows my mind. Click that big red subscribe button. Join the community. Stay up to date on all my content. We upload every single day here. Zastian's still asleep. Let's go. Let's go. That's huge. Ice Beam comes through here. And we survive. That's huge. That's huge. We love that. We love that. Quake's going to fly through here. That kind of scared me for a second. I was like, oh, this match is a wrap after Zassian uh, was still asleep. And then he iced me. I was like, oh, no. That's four times too effective. But my boy Lando is soaking up Behemoth Blades today. Soaking up Ice Beams. You got to love it. You got to love it. But that's pretty solid for us. That's really solid for us. Because Origin Pulse can come out here. Chip up a little bit of damage. We know that his Kyger's faster. I think we just... uh Actually, Tailwind's gone. Tailwind's gone for him. I can just guard. Buff is going to fly through here. I'm just going to double protect. That's GG's. That is GG's. We'll play it safe. We'll double protect. Shall double protect. Play it safe, jeans. That's all you got to do is play it safe. That's all you got to do. They have one more turn left in Tailwind. Play it safe. And there's two turns left in Hail. So he's guaranteed to take a buff it. We'll just guard it. We'll protect it. We'll play it safe. And we will guarantee ourselves that beautiful winning record for battle number two. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's get it. That is how it's done. That's how it's done. That is how it's done. Disrespecting him by finishing him off with Buffett. It's not really disrespectful. It's kind of more so a smart play, you know? It's more so a smart play. But obviously, I could just went into an Ice Beam. I don't think his Kyogre could take him out of our Kyogre. It just wasn't happening. But we just don't protect. We let the Buffett suit work. And we go 2-0 for today's video. The winning record is already guaranteed. We won our first two battles, and Glaring Rapidash was MVP in that last battle, starting us off with a strong turn, putting that Zassy in sleep. And it wasn't just a sleep. It was a three-turn sleep. Which is absolutely amazing. That thing was asleep for the rest of the battle. Did not get off one turn. Galarian Rapidash, you the real MVP. But we're hopping into our third and final battle. We're going up against a Zacian and Reshiram team with Venusaur. Um, does he have any way of setting his sun? He does with Sableye. Sableye's Rocket Sunny Day. He also has the Defiant Thunders. And then he has Intimidate with the Landers. Okay. How are we going to play this one? How are we going to play this one? Kyogre, you're definitely coming in here. Kyogre does a lot of work. He does a lot of work. I might even lead the Kyogre in Scott. Kyogre and Wimscott is not a bad lead. I mean, he's probably Rocket Fake Out, which could do me a little dirty, but I just feel like Kyogre and Wimscott is just a solid lead. We can tell when we kind of get after battle that way. We bring Landers, we bring the Alcan to back end. Sounds good, right? Sounds lovely. Sounds amazing. Sounds amazing. We don't need a Robin. Robin's not going to do too much here. I'm digging it. I'm digging this squad. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's grab ourselves a perfect record for today's video. But it's weird that we haven't used Robin today. Like, we haven't seen any Kyogres. I mean, we actually just did last battle, and we ended up not bringing in. We ended up not bringing in our boy. That's kind of odd, now that I'm thinking about it. He had Kyogre, and we didn't bring in Robin. That is odd. That is odd, but yo, it, it prevailed. It worked really well in, on our end. So I love. He's going to go Sableye. He's going to go Venusaur. He can fake out. Um, Probably going to fake me out, right? Then I'm just going to eject button out. I mean, or he's just going to Sunny Day, right? I mean, or he's just gonna sunny day. I might just Dynamax and get rid of his Venusaur. I might just change up weather because he, he's obviously gonna sunny day here. I could change weather back in the rain. But I think I'd rather get off as much damage as I possibly can, so I'm just gonna Tailwind here. I'm just gonna Tailwind Dynamax Hailstorm. That'd be my play. He's probably gonna Dynamax as well. There's no doubt in my mind that he's gonna do his little finger things with the Sableye. Like, you know how he does this when he's using Prankster moves? Or whenever he uses a move, he's going to be like, Ayo, sunny day. <laughs> he plays a little invisible piano. That's exactly what he's going to do. He's going to make sunny day, and his Venus is going to G-Max up. We're going to change weather up, and we should be thriving here. Watch Dynamax Venusaur. Yes, yes, yes. That's fine. We're not going to be able to take out Venusaur with the Hailstorm, but still. going to do a lot of damage. But the problem is, he might be able to take out my Kyogre. The G-Max Fine Lash? That is rather scary. So hopefully, hopefully we can soak it up because then we get speed after the fact. We get speed after the fact. So yeah, he's going to do his little finger dance. Ready? Here it is. Actually, Wimscott's going to go first. Wimscott's going to go first. Tailwind's going to come out here. Watch this little finger dance. Oh, it doesn't show it. Oh, there it is. There it is. <laughs> Look at him. He did it. <laughs> he did it. He sets the sun. We saw that coming all day. Kyogre should still be faster than Venusaur. We're changing the weather right back and we're going to drop a hailstorm. Lovely little hailstorm. Pop, 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 pop. Big time damage. Cool. Did half. He might have the max guard that Pokemon next turn. He might have the max guard that Pokemon next turn. 
See how this goes. Vine Lash coming in hot. Kyra, just soak it up for us. Be the man. We soaked it up, but we're dead. I don't like that one bit. It gets a crit, dude. I knew it did more damage than it should have. I knew it did more damage than it should have. That hurts the soul. That hurts the soul, man. I don't think there's anything worse than that. That hurts right there. That hurts. Big time. That hurts big time. Because Kyra should have another turn. We could we could have actually taken out a Venusaur with another shot, but I was gonna predict them actually guarding. But that hurts, yo, a crit. I knew it did more damage than it should have. That's a little rough. Uh Lander should probably have a play, right? Lander or do we go Dialga? What's Dialga's speed at? It's just speed at kind of 114 ain't too shabby. Ain't too shabby. I kinda wanna save Landers for Zacian just for intimidate. So I might just rock Dialga. We do have a soul vest which works wonders. I'm gonna go Dialga here. And do we take Venusaur's idol? Is Venusaur orb? Is Venusaur orb, that's the real question. I mean, he might change up weather again. He might change up weather again. This kind of leads me to want to double down into you. Let's do it. Let's do it. Just so we can get rid of that item. But Drew's gonna come out here. As long as he's not sunny day, my my Diablo can uh, outspeed. He's gonna sunny day again. A little biscuit. Can you still outspeed Dialga? How slow is that Venusaur? We do have Tailwind up, which is wonderful. Yeah, Dialga, I'll speed him. Do not. You can go for Quake. Uh, Dialga, you should be able to eat that up. Beautiful. We he gets a special defense boost, but we get rid of him. We get rid of him. Cool. We get rid of him. He has special defense boost. Okay, that's fine. So the only Pokemon that is going to have special defense boost is that, uh, that Sableye. So not bad damage. We eject button him out. And we take his life orb. So my Wimscott's going to be able to hit like a truck now. <laughs> I'm trying to think of ways we can win this. So Dynamax is all gone. Um, hmm. We have speed on the board right now. You're going to go into kind, sir. Who are you going into? Who are you going into? No, he's going to go into Reshiram. So Reshiram's going to poke out here. He can't quash me, which I, I don't like one bit. Quash is definitely a problem. Definitely a problem. And I forgot about that dang Vine Lash. That, fine, that Vine Lash is doing me dirty. Vine Lash is chipping up some mean damage. Um, I could War Time. This might want to be my play here, right? If I can slap that thing with a War Time, that could be big time. That could be big time plays. And I'm just going to Energy Ball over onto the slot. Because War Time should be able to take it out on its own. If we can get that off. Well, the only problem would be is if he quashes me. Let's see why. Do me dirty. We're hoping no quash comes out. And there it is. Stupid quash. Man. He, I hate quash. Hate it. He's gonna postpone remove. Energy ball is gonna fly here. And we're gonna chip up. Not bad damage. Look at that damage. That's gonna be a special defense drop too. Whimsicott with a life orb doing some work. He's gonna end up going for a blue flare. He's gonna say bye bye to me. And I mean, he could just quash me again, which I do not like. I really wanna go into a sword stance here. I really wanna go into a sword stance here. Lando's not looking bad. I really want to go. I wish I had protect. Ah, I mean, I'm going to go for Sword Dance. If I can eat up whatever shot he has to offer, that's going to be huge. Because this energy ball should be able to take out Save Life with this minus one special defense. Do you like it? Do you like it? Do you like this turn? Maybe protects Reggie. They quash me. Fine. We're going for Sword Santa. I knew he's gonna clash me, so that's a smart play. He's going for Blue Flare. Energy Ball. Take out, right? Correct. Cool, we don't get swept. And if this Lando could eat up this shot, this could be Eno. I know, eat up this Blue Flare. I don't think you are, dude. It's in the drought. Eat this up somehow. Nah. Nah, see, we tried. We tried. We tried. That crit did us so dirty. Because just think, if we would have ate that up. Sword Dance would have came out here. Quash would have been off the field. I could have just Tailwind, and I think I would have been able to sweep with Lando. Yeah, Zassian would have came out here. One EQ takes him out. Oh, my God. We would have won the battle. We would have won, yo. That save by legit just won him the match. I shouldn't just say to save by. That critical hit on my Kyogre really won him the match. But I'm going to run this battle. We don't get swept here, and we go 2-1 for today's video and show off every Pokemon on the
The third battle in today's video was a little rough, but we can't complain. We went 2-0 and we absolutely dominated with this team. Rapid Ash came in clutch in battle number two. And how did battle number one go? I kind of forget. I think we just Dynamax Lando and rolled out. Yeah, it was Lando and Kyogre clutching it up and completing the comeback, which is really, really dope. But like I said, I can't complain. 2-1 for today's video, grabbing ourselves a winning record and showcasing player in Rapid Ash. You gotta love it. But guys, that is gonna be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.